Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Joe. And in today's video, I want to give you a way, an easier way to learn grammar. There are so many grammar rules in English. Some of them are easy to understand and remember for you, but I imagine some of them are quite difficult. So you often make mistakes related to those rules. This video is going to teach you an easy and effective grammar hack so you can finally understand and remember difficult rules. All right. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Joe Crossman and I'm an English teacher at a university in Canada. I love helping people improve their English. So that's why I make these videos every Saturday. If you want to follow me, hit the subscribe button down below and that notification bell, and then we can become good friends. All right. So here's the hack. Very short. The way to remember hard or complicated grammar rules is to make an example using people and events from your life. Okay. Now, if you're studying a grammar book and the grammar book provides an example, when you're reading it, you can maybe get the idea and you can understand it. But because the example belongs to the book, these aren't your family members or friends. It's easily forgotten because there's nothing connecting it there. But if you connect a situation or events and people in your life that really happened to the grammar rule, then you will remember because you're not going to forget your life. You're not going to forget the people in your life and what happened. You just have to say it in English. If you get the correct sentence and you leave it that way, then you can remember the grammar rule because you'll remember what happened. You got to remember, this doesn't mean just using your family's names. That's not good enough. You must write about the correct experience. If you don't choose the correct experience, then this tip won't work. Okay. Now you've made it this far. Uh, I'm going to give you a secret code. There's going to be two secret codes in this short video. When you hear them, I want you to write me a message on Instagram at teacher Joe Crossman. Then I'll know that you watched this whole video and I'm going to help you more. Okay. So the first secret code is helpful grammar tip. Okay. Now let me give you an example for ownership. Uh, the sentence, uh, this sentence is bad for me. My brother's dog was called Max. Okay. So if you read that in a, in a book, you might understand, okay, my brother's dog. Okay. I think I got it, but this is not as useful as it could be because it's not true. My brother never owned a dog. This won't help me remember. It won't help me understand possessive grammar. I need a true event. I need a true example from my life. For example, <laughs> my sister Debbie's cat was named pumpkin. This is the truth. It's easy for me to remember and it shows possession. Debbie's cat was pumpkin. I remember. <laughs> All right. All right. Here are two examples with the past perfect. Sometimes people forget how to use, or they don't understand how to use the past perfect. I had graduated from university before I became a teacher. So those are two events that happened in the past. One happened before the other. I had graduated and this is all true for me. 
so I can remember how to use the past perfect before the simple past. Another example, I had worked for five years at a hospital before I moved to South Korea. And that's also the truth. I had worked. That happened before I moved to South Korea. Okay? When you put true experiences uh, and use grammar to, to explain your true experiences, it helps you remember. Now here's the second secret code. It is these are true sentences. All right. So I want you to write a sentence below in the comments and I'll check it. Tell me something true about your life. Okay. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more, I'm going to put a video here, a link. You can click on that and then you can see me with a different shirt different beard, and you can keep on learning English, okay? And by the way, when did you finish high school? All right, that's it for now. See ya.